Sausage! Sausage! Who is it? Afternoon, monkeys. John from Yorkshire Monkey here. I hope you're doing well. Ding, ding, indeed. Right, this is a belter. This is from uh, 20th September 2021. So, two or three days ago, it's on Yahoo News. Police officers having an affair ignored burglary call out to have sex in police car. <laughs> there we go, look. What are the names? Molly Edwards left and Richard Patton. Well, there, Molly. She fell out of ugly tree, didn't she? Every branch on the way down. Two police officers having an affair ignored call outs to engage in sexual activity in their squad car while on duty, a disciplinary panel has ruled. Police Sergeant Molly Edwards and Police Constable Richard Patton, who are both married with children, ignored calls to attend a hospital following a serious assault and to attend a burglary at a shop on the same night. The two city police officers who quit the force before last month's hearing were found guilty of gross misconduct after their bosses bugged their vehicle. <laughs> oh dear. A misconduct hearing on the 16th of August found that Edwards, believed to be in her late 30s, and Patton, 39, had engaged in sexual activity between June 19th and September 2019 while on duty in a police vehicle in a public space. It also ruled out that doing so on 29th of September 2019, they failed to attend and officer assist to colleagues who were helping two victims who had been seriously assaulted. That night, they also failed to attend and offer their assistance at a burglary. The panel also found that both officers had misled their manager about their relationship, while Patton was also found to have used inappropriate language about a former Asian colleague, which Edwards failed to challenge or report. So she's racist as well as being ugly. Very good. It ruled that both officers would have been dismissed had they not resigned before the misconduct hearing. The panel heard that Pan was heard saying, oh, let's just get naked, after a 451 radio request for assistance at a burglary at a curry store in Woking. Officers also ignored a, ignored a call at 4.17 to attend Frimley Park Hospital to talk to two victims of a serious assault outside a nightclub. The panellists satisfied that the officers should have responded to the call given their location and would have done had they not been engaged in sexual activity, said the chair John Bassett. It is self-evident from the transcripts of what occurred after the call that the sexual activity continued. The panel said the officer's sexual activity clearly involved the removal of some of their clothing, clothing and kissing, as well as exposure of Edward's breasts and pattern pleasure in her. <laughs> the pair also made verbal expressions of sexual fantasies, the, the panel said. Oh, I can't concentrate on this. My mind's going one tent that dozen with this one. Edwards and Patton denied having full sexual intercourse and said the sexual activity only took place over two days while their car was bugged. In a statement, Edwards said we started to use 5am on night shifts when it was quiet as a time to offload. Our relationship began from this time. It wasn't always sexual in that sometimes it could just be holding hands. I enjoyed the time we had together, but I became aware that what we were doing was wrong and would say to him that we should put a stop to it. Mr Bassett said their actions were a serious dereliction of duty that would be considered as outrageous by reasonable and fair-minded members of the public. Both officers were found to have breached standards of professional behaviour in respect of discreditable conduct, honesty and integrity and duties and responsibilities. That's a lot of hands. OK, monkeys, there you go. They got caught out. Both of them, both dismissed. Ta-da! There you go, that's them. Okay, monkeys, we'll catch you later on. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what you think. Smash that like button for me. Okay, monkeys, stay safe.